Suit Base 2, a meme turned masterpiece. Somewhere in 2018, K-Dog, an old player on 99T, made a stash somewhere on the server. Fast forward to 2020 after Suit Base 1 was griefed. Soup Gang was planning something, something big. Something that would outshine the previously mentioned Suit Base 1. A base that was built with no duped building materials at all, and was turned into a brilliant masterpiece. For the next month or so after the grief, Soup Gang carefully planned what was going to be the biggest base of 2020. On March 7th, 2020, Staz Master, a main build contributor and now head figure of Soup Gang, followed by Supreme, who died a few times in the way, arrived at K-Dog Stash where the journey started. Here, Staz, Uncle Gary, Zeta, and Old Chum made some quite impressive and massive builds. Some of these being the fuck off build by Staz, Zeta's Cathedral, Oasis 2, and City of Angles, also by Staz, and the famous Soup Base 2 Museum, built to hold the legendary map art veil. This museum was built by Gary and Staz. Unfortunately, however, all good things must come to an end. Later that year, on August 20th, the base was griefed by the infamous 2P2T griefer Jared 2013, and later by people from Rubik. Now, how did we get here? How did Jared 2013, a prominent 2P2T player, end up griefing this monster of a base? Why was Rubik involved? How did they get the coordinates? Let's find out. Let's talk about Sriracha King and Broken Griffin. Like many Soup Base 2 residents, Sriracha King, an old player on 9 b 9 t didn't build all that much and was rather inactive. So how did he somehow become the center of attention? When traveling to the base, Sriracha used an account called Jeff is Psycho. Unbeknownst to the rest of Soup Gang, however, this account was shared with Broken Griffin, a fellow old player and a good friend of Sriracha's. Broken was not invited to the base, but somehow still ended up there, which was a surprise to Supreme and many other members of his base. This was brushed off as harmless, and everyone else went back to their normal day. In public, a certain player and member of the group Rubik, Mind King 222 was teasing Supreme with the idea that he was at Suit Base 2, saying many inflammatory terms referring to builds at the base, such as the speed at which Zeta built his cathedral. This worried Supreme and the rest of Soup Gang, and it wasn't long until they were scrambling to find not only what to do with the base, but who leaked it in the first place. After coming to the conclusion that Mind King 100% had coordinates to the base, and was possibly already there, one JSL had a great idea. He said, what if I gave Jared my account to grief it? Everyone agreed that this was the best course, because if Jared did the grief before Rubik, Jared would be more respectable about it. They also decided that Jared should grief the base so Rubik couldn't grief it first, and Mind King couldn't receive the clout that he needs to survive. So how does Sriracha and Broken have anything to do with this? Let's figure it out together. The group had several suspects. However, with a member count over 30, it was going to be hard to find any definitive evidence against a single person. However, after months of scrutiny and intense autism, a decisive decision was made. The players Broken Griffin and Sriracha King were found to be the most probable suspects of this leak. A screenshot from Mind King's perspective was passed around that shows Broken slash Sriracha's account, Jeff is Psycho, was friended. And Emil's account was not, which makes sense because Mind King claimed to have been at Soup Base 2 for a while beforehand. It was also very likely that Mind King had access to the shared account at some stage, as it was seen frequently online scouting out the base in the week before the grief. Sriracha also gave Broken Griffin cords to Soup Base 2 before Broken was even invited, proven he was willing to give cords to his friends. Broken Griffin rarely logged on let alone build at Suit Base 2 before this event. However, the week of the grief, he went out of his way to voice call and screen share him building at the base just to show Staz Master. Even with all this indisputable evidence, they still came up with excuses on how Broken and Sriracha did not leak. 
if Mind King really tried that hard to defend Broken and Sriracha. It just shows that they are really close friends who wouldn't hesitate to share coordinates with one another. This was not only a very bold, but also a very probable claim. But like all things, there are two sides to every story. Doting Winner interviewed all the suspects, and these are their sides to the story. Here's the story from Mind King's perspective. Hello everyone, Mind King 222 here. Today I'm going to uncover some of the facts and stories about what actually happened to Soup Base. It's going to be a very long and investigative tour, so strap in. We first start out our story in June of 2020. Me and the Rubik boys had just started on another base. Around this time, a player by the name of 007 Emil had told me about a base Soup Gang had been working on, Soup Base. I didn't think much of it and continued working on the base. But over the next few months, I would grow a distaste for the members of Soup Base. Although I had received cords from an anonymous individual or some sort of exploit, I still did not bother griefing it because I really had no reason to. This was until around August 8th, 2020, when a player named Supreme decided to blow up a- simply because I was there. This is the very moment I decided I want to grief Soup Base. After a month of work going into the plan to grief Soup Base, I realized that Broken Griffin would be a prime suspect due to the fact that he was at that stash. On August 12th, 2020, one week before the grief, I would ask Broken Griffin stuff like, if I blew up Soup Base 2 and Supreme thought it was you, if he thought stuff like his map art stash with 33 map arts would get griefed. He responded with, no, I don't think he would do that to me. He has also openly said that he didn't think I had course to the base, even after I asked stuff like this. He told others that I was just bluffing, and that he had a serious doubt that I would ever get the cords to suit base. Although this isn't exactly the most moral method of doing this, it was the only method I could think of. With this knowledge, I eagerly pinged everyone in Rubik and told them to travel to the base cords. On August 19th, the whole thing would be destroyed. The Soup Gang members, being absolutely furious, tried to point out any possible method of me getting cords as a reasonable one. And they go as follows. 1. Paying Jared 2013 actual cash for coordinates to the base. 2. As they assumed it was probably an insider, kicking all but around 10 people from the group was reasonable to them. 3. Terrain exploiting. Although I can neither confirm or deny any of these are true, I can assure you that this had nothing to do with the people I've listed previously. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. P.S. Sriracha King had even less involvement than Broken Griffin. From Mind King's perspective, he tells us that no one that we mentioned was involved. Something interesting that I found is he brushed off the part where he obtained the coordinates, which was probably the biggest part, and then turned it into a vengeance plan. Doting also reached out to Broken and Sriracha. Sriracha said that he had no idea what was happening at Suit Base and that he really can't blame Soup Base members for blaming himself and Broken for leaking coordinates. Broken stated that Mind King did not have access to that particular account, but that Broken and Mind King shared access to a different account at one point or another. Someone else at the base leaked, most likely, they said. I know me and Sriracha did not. So, who could it have been? We may not ever know the truth. As the great Fit MC once said, this is the life cycle of anarchy. All bases eventually end up getting raped. But why was this one so important that a whole video was to be made about it? Well, here's why. Not only was there mass controversy and autism over the leaking and griefing, but this base took not one, but two griefs spanning well over three days and many different people just to put the base to rest. Who do you think leaked it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day. I bet it was one JSL that fucking- <laughs>